Hey, so in this conversation, um, I wanted to um, kind of discuss three basic um, intentions that I have whenever I am drawing. Uh, if you are seeking to be an artist, or if you desire to do something that involves art, um, these are kind of three basic steps that I go into whenever I am about to start a piece. So the first step is to um, find something that you are passionate about. So if there's something that you find interesting with regards to a specific piece, um, it's a, it, it can be important that you're passionate about what you're about to draw, right? Because if you lack certain passion, and by passion in this context, I just simply mean um, a very, very specific and intense uh, desire to draw something or to create something. So if you have a specific passion for that specific area of art that you are about to tackle, then that makes it all that much easier to um, dedicate the time to the piece, to dedicate the, the effort to the piece. So to basically put it briefly, um, be truly interested in the certain piece that you're going to dedicate time to. Be really invested. Be passionate. Be invested in what you are about to draw. You know, I, I notice that whenever I try and draw, it can be difficult if I don't have if I don't have a desire. Um, if I don't put my full attention and full desire into what I'm drawing, uh, it can feel like a drag. It, it's not interesting. It doesn't seem fun to draw. It, it can be very hard to put the detail into the piece if you if you don't have like a passion for what you're drawing, right? If you don't have a, a desire or a, a, a deep intention um, to what you are developing in, in the art, right? So I would say that that's the first step is make sure that you're passionate about what you are about to draw or about to create or whatever uh, variety of art it is. Have a passion about it. Don't just, um, you know, put minimum effort. Uh, don't invest time into something that feels like a drag. So be passionate about what you're about to draw. I would say the second step is to invest time. I think that's a good follow-up step is once you have a passion for what you're about to draw, dedicate the time. One of my biggest struggles is to be um, patient with a certain piece. Uh, whenever I try and do something, I always constantly want to see the end result in the piece. I always just want to strive for that end result. But what ends up happening is I neglect basic steps in the process, and I struggle to stick to, um, you know, uh, sticking to the details because I'm too busy trying to rush through it and just see the end result, you know, because if you are an artist, if you have like an artist brain, um, you see a vision, right? You have like a vision for what you're trying to accomplish and you want that vision to come true as soon as possible, you know, and for me, that's, that's one of my struggles with art is I'm super, super like wanting to get this thing done and I tend to skip basic steps to where it tends to look more in my view like mediocre to what I could do and um, just in general it looks more messy and I did a video which was just this last video of me going over some of my past art and in that video a lot of it was rough because there's just scribbles. You know, if I attempted any kind of shading, it was just scribbling. <laughs> it, you know, the, it was really, really rough sketches. And in my mind, I had a vision, and I wanted, I saw what I wanted, you know, to uh, come to life on paper, but it didn't happen because I missed the basics. I missed the basic steps in paying attention to detail, um, technique, uh, taking my time, right? I missed those things because I was too busy trying to rush through the piece instead of taking my time and just relaxing in my brain a little bit and just allowing the piece to come to life through patience. So I would say that's the second step is make sure you're being patient and attentive. So, And the third step 
I would say is pay attention to details. Details matter. Layering of the piece matters. And by layering, I just mean do the basics first. So shading, do the basics, right? Like the shape of the piece. So proportions and then basic shading. Once you get the basic shading, you can add a level of detail, then add another level of detail, then another level of detail until you finally achieve um, the certain vision that you are that you have been seeing in the, in the piece. So pay attention to details. Details are so important, and I think it's important to life as well. If you don't pay attention uh, to the details in life, that will cost you eventually, right? It could cost you a major mistake in the long run and in the short term, long term and short term. So paying attention to details is very important to life. And with regards to art, it's important to manifest the vision that you have into reality um, through your piece, right? It's important if you want to accomplish something. So I would definitely say pay attention to details. It is so important to pay attention to details. When I was younger, I struggled. I was not a very detailed oriented person. And even now I struggle with details. I'm a little bit rough on my art. Uh, I'm not as uh, attentive as I think I should be. And um, in my younger years, I was, yeah, definitely like everything was super rough because I just didn't, it wasn't in my mind to pay attention to the basics, to those details. And so as I am developing now, mentally, psychologically, you know, the more I realize how important those details are, you know, paying attention to the small stuff, right? Because that makes up the, uh, the conglomeration of like a, the big picture. It really does. And the perfect example, ex the perfect example, excuse me, is my Davy Jones piece. So that piece currently has been taking me uh, roughly three months. And I can safely say that it has paid off in dramatically. I mean, it's, it's simply because I am layering the piece, as I said before, like basic sh shapes, proportions, and shadows, layer, layer after layer, right? Um, you know, paying attention to those details. That's why it's been taking three months. And in that process, I've been able to see this piece surprise me. Like, it's been surprising me because I'm like, wow, I didn't, that's cool. Like, this is... This is different than some of my other pieces, you know? It's like, wow, this is cool to see something like this come to life. And in your, you know, when you're pursuing art, you're going to end up surprising yourself because I didn't know I could do that. And it's all about the basic steps. It's all about the basic steps of just achieving the small steps to achieve the, the, the bigger goal. And so I would say that those are three major steps in, in my life that I've been able to see in art, you know, really, really progress is just stick to those three basic steps, you know, and um, honestly, you can achieve anything, right? And as a bonus step, enjoy it. Enjoy what you're drawing. When I was younger, I, I really struggled to, I think, be uh, positive with what I was drawing. I tend to look at things very negatively. Um, as an artist and I think as a person I tend to I'm more prone to negative thought and because of that a lot of my pieces are you know I, I tend to have a more negative outlook on on the piece and all of this is to say you know be more positive with what you're doing if you make a mistake don't throw the piece out as I have struggled to do um, don't throw it out you know, make adjustments, make those adjustments, see a different vision, adapt your vision whenever you make a mistake, and see something better than what you uh, previ previously could see, right? Just make those small adjustments, and be more positive in your outlook, you know? If it's not exactly what you envisioned, it's okay. You gave it your best, you did your best that you could with the tools that you were given, you know? And I think that's something that's that's huge is to be confident, be be positive with what you're with what you're drawing. It's okay to make mistakes, you know. That's not something that that's not something that's gonna ruin a, a piece, right? Now, if there's a major mistake, like with this Davy Jones uh, piece, like if I made a brutal mistake to where I spilled something on it or I completely ruined it, okay. 
you will have to face sometimes the the reality of yeah you know this is man this is this is rough you know i can't redeem this piece it's really frustrating but sometimes that happens you know and sometimes you have to deal with that and that's okay make adjustments renew your vision and either start again or start something new start something fresh and again i think that can literally be a principle that applies to life is you learn from some of the critical mistakes that you've made you learn from some of the mistakes that aren't as critical and you make those adjustments and you you know you renew you adapt you evolve psychologically mentally consciously you make those changes and you progress in life don't stay stagnant always progress forward always make adjustments to constantly improve yourself and i view that in art and in life and um you know constantly make those adjustments so i think that those are some of the basic uh steps that i have you know whenever i am going to approach a piece right and if you are just starting art i think that those can be great steps for you you know is you know view everything with a confidence and i think that if you apply those three basic steps you can really surprise yourself with what you uh, could produce and it doesn't have to be just drawing it's anything with art right it's anything with art and so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video um like comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed share it with others if you find it informative and you want to share the information with other people uh that would be fantastic i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you later god bless